Hi guys, it's Mrs. Kopaz, and this is for day four of at-home learning. I thought today we would try something a little bit different, and that is this website called Piscal. Um, and the website is actually piscalapp.com. Um, and what this website allows you to do is create animated GIFs that you can use like as your icon for Google so that your Google um, icon moves, which I know a lot of the fifth graders have. Uh, we've tried making um, pixel art before, but this is kind of another level of it because it allows you to animate it. Um, so I'm going to walk you through kind of how the website works, and then we'll look at the website specifically. Okay. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is click login once you get to the website. If you're already logged into your Google account, it's going to automatically create your own account for you on Piscal. Um, so you just click on your Google account when it appears, okay? And then you would just go to Create Piscal or Create Sprite, okay? One or the other, it'll appear differently on different computers. Um, once you're there, you'll see like a big square in this section and to the left, you'll see a toolbox. Um, this is your pen, so your drawing tool. And right below at the bottom of the toolbox, you'll see a color. When you click on that color, um, this little icon will come up and you'll be able to select whatever color you want from the color bar. You can see all the colors there. Pick the one you want and you can switch and use multiple colors within your um, same drawing, okay? Um, the first frame, like this was my first frame I did, and I wanted it to animate it so it looked like a pizza being eaten. So once the first frame was done, I clicked right at the bottom on the left of the canvas. You'll see uh, right up here, there's a little icon on the right hand corner bottom right corner, it says duplicate this frame. You're going to click on that and it'll make another frame just like the one you just made. So you'll have two a perfect, um, perfectly similar frames, one and two. And then what you can do is you can change the second frame so it's different from the first. If you click on the onion, it'll give you the layers of your two different slides so you can see what you've changed from your first slide to your second. You can take things away. For this one, all I did was go back to my green color and added the background color so it looked like things were going away. Or you can add things as well. Um, once you're finished and you like the way that it looks, you're first going to click the little floppy dice, disk icon. That's going to um, that's going to save it to your uh, your account on Piscal, and then to download it as a GIF, you're going to click on this icon right here. So that's going to export it to your Google Drive. So you will have it'll pop right up once it's completely done. Okay. Um, so this is my final image. I do want to bounce back real quick to one thing that is really important though. Before you save it, it's important to change the width and the height from 32 by 32 to 500 by 500. Otherwise, it will be really, really tiny and you'll barely be able to see it. So please make sure you do that so it'll fill um, the frame once you're done, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna jump out of this PowerPoint really quickly and show you what the actual website looks like, okay? So this is what the website looks like when you open it up. Down here, there's some different examples of animated GIFs that you can kind of like look at and check out. I'm gonna click on Mega Man here because He's pretty simple, and I think he's only three slides. So let's take a look at him. Yeah, so he just, you can see over here, he just blinks his eyes, and he kind of lunges forward a little bit. This little bar right here, if you pull it to the left, it animates slow, slower. And if you pull it to the right, it animates faster, okay? So that's an option. I'm just going to show you, if I wanted to add one more thing, one more slide, I'm going to just click there. That's going to give me a fourth image because I duplicated the third one. And I can just simply move him just like this if I move him a little bit. And then you'll see him move up there. I can duplicate it again, move him in the fifth slide just a little bit further. And I can just keep going all the way down like that. In my sixth slide, I'm going to move him just a little bit further using the hand tool. So you can see now it looks like he's kind of moving across the frame. Okay. Um, let's go in and create a new sprite just so you can kind of see uh, the different tools really quickly. 
Um, this is the pen tool, which we looked at before. This tool is a vertical mirror pen. So this will allow you to um, mirror whatever you draw on one side, you automatically draw on the other. So let's say like I'm going to make a heart. Okay, now you could get a lot more complicated than this, but that's a pretty simple example. It's kind of bothering me that it's not. There we go. Um, so let's say very, very simple, right? Um, let's say that I duplicate this frame and on slide number two, I'm going to transform it just by turning it. Okay, so you can see how that's animating over here. I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to turn it again. Okay, I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to turn it again on the fourth slide. Now I can slow that down a little bit so it's not too crazy over here. And it kind of just, you can see it rotating through. Now you could add color to that or do all kinds of things to that to make it more interesting. But that's just to show you kind of how everything works, okay? Um, this is your resize tool, which you're going to change things, you know, up to 500. And this is your saving tool, and this is how you're going to export it. Um, so that you can see, and it'll save it right into your Google Drive, okay? So check that out, guys. It's a really great website. Make sure you save stuff as you go. Um, you know, kind of play around with it a little bit. It will take a while to get used to, but you can do some really, really cool things on here. Um, if you're patient with it uh, and you really take your time, uh, I'm sure you'll find like some very cool stuff. I'm always amazed um, at what kids come up with um, while using this. So just kind of go through, experiment, um, and then share what you've done. I'm excited to see what you can come up with. All right, have a good time creating today. Bye-bye.